Um, my name is Anna, I'm from County Down. Um, this is my second time in the island. Um, this year I thought it was really good. Um, Helen's first time, so it was a good, good experience. Met some great people. Um, um, just about the now, it's been great, really enjoyed it. I'm to also I'm from Loud. This is my tenth time doing it. I'll hopefully we'll be back again next year, all going well. My name is Catherine McCartan and I'm from Tullish in County Down and this is my first time doing the pilgrimage and I um, really enjoyed it. So I'll be in well, I'll be back next year. Okay, my name is Muriel, I am from Paris. My name is Rune, I am coming from Rainon Island in the Indian Ocean with my husband. He don't speak English. That's great. And have any of you done the pilgrimage before coming this time? No, never. No, first time. And what did you think of it? Very hard. <laughs> it was very hard because it was a rainy day and we had cold feet. It, it was hard for us. Yeah. Was it a good experience? Yeah, very good. Rewarding? Uh, I didn't understand the word. Oh. <laughs> and would you do the pilgrimage again? Oh, um, yeah, maybe. But in August, when it's sunshine. Because yeah. it's hard to not to sleep and to not to eat. For me, it was the harder thing. I don't like to don't eat, and I don't like to don't sleep. <laughs> I like to pray. Now, what's your names and where are you from? Kathleen O'Neill, um, Anacotti Limerick, Nora Riley, Raheen Limerick. And how many times have you done Loch Derg before? This is uh, started in 1990, and this is 212. 20 years, 22. I'd say I've done about one or two less. I didn't start as early as Kathleen did, I started. Has it changed much since she first started? Well, I suppose Bill, um, it has a little bit, but it's really the same. What should I say? It's the same pilgrimage, the same. Uh, I think some of the buildings now, Kathleen, have improved. improved over everything there. has yeah. improved, but in saying that, yeah. it's still. The same three day From the personal point of view, it's the same thing you have to do. How would you describe Loch Derg to someone that hasn't been here before? It's a time out, space, no rushing or time with your own thoughts. Yeah. Uh, listening to, there are some very nice talks at times, inspirational ones in the evening, and uh, it's hard. Physically, it's hard. We left us. And it's, at the end of it all, it's worth it. At the end, you have such a good feeling. At the end, there's no better feeling. Now we're here on the 10th of June. In glorious sunshine at 9:30 a.m. And it's just wonderful to be at this end. But when we came, it was the worst. Actually, these last two days, the weather was the worst we've ever seen in 20 years. And the most important question: Will, will you come back to Loch Derg? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's difficult this morning, but if we have the health, please God, I would be the same. If the, I, I couldn't say yes, I couldn't say no, I wouldn't rule it out, I definitely wouldn't say yes, but we've done it so long. And maybe if we have the health, please God, we'll be back again. That's great. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Marie Delaney. Sharon McDonough for Tullamore. Sharon McDonough for Tullamore. And um, what made you come to Loch Derg? Just basically penance. There's a lot of people who seek Loch Derg and they want to pray for them, so hopefully they'll do something. Did it live up to your expectations? It was harder than what we thought. I've been here last year, but it seems to be harder this year. How many times have you done the pilgrimage before? Twice, yeah. Second time. And will you be back again? Yeah, yeah come back again. Not for a while, but we'll eventually we'll come back. How would you describe Loch Derg to someone that hasn't been here before? It's a lovely place to think and do your penance, but it is hard. I think the steep is the hardest part. What's your name and where are you from? Maureen McInnett, uh, from Castle Round, County Down. And why do you come to Loch Derg? Just because I like it. You like it's it? It's just something about it, you know, that brings you back every year. And you were here last weekend, is that correct? Yes, that's right. And back again this weekend? Uh -huh. And do you think you'll be back again? Oh, well, I probably will, but I don't know now if I'll be back this year or not. If I, if I can, I'll be back. And was it easier this weekend or last it was easier, weekend? Easier this weekend. Why was that? Uh, well, I think it was just 
the stones last weekend seemed to be like slippy. You know, I think it was with the heat. And uh, how would you describe Loch Derg to someone that hasn't been here before? Oh, I, it's just like being in heaven. And how many times have you done the pilgrimage before, Kathy? I did at least 20 times this time. And why do you keep coming back to Loch Derg? I want to get great peace and I seem to get something out of it. And, uh, you know, great penance and great thanksgiving as well. Uh-huh. And what are the worst parts of coming to Loch Derg apart the midges, from the weather? The midges. The midges, the worst, yeah. How would you sum up Loch Derg in three words? How would I sum it up in three words? Well, if you want peace and spiritual and spirituality and thanksgiving and um, remembrance. Because you remember people that you never ever think about when you're at home. And um, the friendliness, companionship, and everybody's helpful. Will you be back again? Well, if God allows me. I never say never. Thank you very much. Okay. I'm Pat Crawford, I'm from Oma. I'm sorry, Etna McGarry, Bell Hadween, County of Scotland. Is this, how many times have you done the pilgrimage before? Um, I have done it three times, but I haven't been here since 1975. And this is my first time doing it. It's your first time. Did Loch Derg meet your expectations for your first time? Oh, for my first time, I hadn't a clue what to expect. But it was tougher. I thought I was going to be more able. And it was much tougher than what I expected it to be. Or much tougher than what I thought I was capable of. And how did you find coming back to Loch Derg, doing it again after so many years? I found no, the, uh, it was very tough, but the weather made it very tough. But I think the facilities are much improved. And uh, you didn't know each other before no, you no, come no, to Loch Derg? No, 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 no. I came by myself and I met <laughs> this woman and her friend when I landed in. That's brilliant. Yeah, absolutely. And how would you describe your experience in three words? Um, A thinking experience with great support. And I think we'll Will you be back again? That's the most important question. Uh, yes. Yesterday yes. I would have said no, today, this morning I would say yeah, I think I'll be back. And what's the, the best thing that you get out of Loch Derg? Just that you sort out your head. Think a lot, um, clear up things for yourself and meet great people that are on the same track. That's great. Spiritual I would have said. That's wonderful. Thank you very much and all the best. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you. you.